Hi, this is Joe, and today we're going to do a brief five note block chord lesson. Uh, and this is on the tune A Foggy Day in London Town, a uh, George and Ira Gershwin tune. Uh, first, I'm going to play it the way I would play it, and the next part will be the lesson. Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Gershwin's A Foggy Day in London Town. And um, we're going to do this in the five note block chord style, which is associated with George Shearing. Oscar Peterson used it a lot. And um, it really originated in the big bands, the uh, sax sections, uh, Basie, Woody Herman, a lot of the others used their five note. This five note block word style where you have, for example, in Foggy Day, we start off with the F6 chord. Okay, so you have C in the melody. And you always double the melody in the left hand here. And you fill in the other notes C, D, F, A, C. Okay, the next chord is. So this can be either an A flat. Nice. And these are usually rootless, okay? It could also be a D. More dissonant if you put the D in the bass. See, but still works. Next chord, G ninth. Okay, so you've got the, the fifth, which is the melody note, the seventh, the ninth. The third, the melody note, or the fifth again. So you got okay. Now we're going to go to the C. This is C thirteenth again, rootless. See how that works with the root. So you have the thirteenth, the seventh, the flat ninth, the third, the thirteenth. Okay, next chord, F, F6, this is the melody note. This is a D7 with a flat 5. Okay, G minor. That's pretty straightforward. C9. Okay, now you get the C major 7th. And instead of playing the uh, root here, you can put the ninth in the middle. C minor ninth to the F. So, um, and then you 
have B flat uh, major seven, the E flat ninth, A minor to D, the seventh with the flat ninth. Okay. Then the G minor ninth could also be a G seventh, depending on what you prefer. Going to the C thirteenth again with the ninth and melody. That would be the solo. Second A section. Now it's a little different. We go right up to the C minor chord, which doesn't have, it's really a G minor over the C, where you can play it like this. Okay, and then it's a C minor 11th. Either one works. Now we're going to the F 13th. The B flat major 7. This is the E flat 9th with the sharp 11th. Again to the F. G minor. F. This would be a D, 13th, G minor ninth, C ninth. Okay? So that's basically the whole thing.